Listen. <laughs> I have irritable bowel syndrome, okay? It's not a joke. In fact, it's protected by the Americans with Disabilities Act. So don't even think about trying to get rid of me for this. Really tough call to make. Um, I just wanted to review stuff that, you know, nobody has heard about or has forgotten about, as is this case, the latter. Um, so I actually dig deep into my memory banks, uh, what's left of them at my age, and actually came up with two movies for the worst movie of all time. Um, I, I just really couldn't choose between the two. It just, both are just horrible, horrible movies. The first movie is a movie uh, that I first saw at a place called Family Video, um, which, by the way, for being called Family Video has an excellent porn section, so if you don't have a membership, I, su su yeah, I suggest getting one. But this movie's called Killer Condom. No, it's not a porn. Neither of them are. But um, I wouldn't want this one to be. Okay, uh, Killer Condom was uh, made in 1996. Uh, it's a German movie. It's in German. It's supposed to take place in New York, which remarkably looks like downtown Berlin through most of the movie. But um, other than bad settings aside, um, this movie is about these creatures that look like condoms and take the form of condoms, kind of like Transformers, only creepier. And, uh, well, they go about around biting off people's wings that's how they eat so um but anyway this cop runs across these things and nobody believes him now the cop is our hero and he doesn't get his winger eaten off but he does happen to lose a testicle during an encounter with one um this isn't the first time a german man in power has lost a testicle if we all remember hitler but anyway aside from that um yeah he starts on this personal vendetta to destroy these things, and other than that, um, not much happens. I mean, I actually like stopped this video and looked at it three days later, and I never stop watching movies. I don't care how bad they are, but uh, that one was pretty bad. Um, now, the second movie um, is called... It's a 1990 movie, actually. Um, and this one, so bad, it's not even on... Uh, on uh, Wikipedia, but um, 1990, a great movie from the creators of Basket Case 1, 2, and 3, Son of Psycho and Brain Damage, came up with this wonderful idea called Frankenhooker. Now, Frankenhooker is basically about this guy who's a mad scientist, and if he has um, enough money to buy all these toys, I don't know why he just doesn't buy real hookers. But aside from that, he uh, is looking for the perfect woman, so he decides to make one out of body parts. Um, it's directed by a guy, uh, Frank uh, Hennen Lauder? I don't know who the hell that even is. But anyway, he's the one that directed Basket Cases, Sun Cycle, and Brain Damage. But um, some of the uh, stars in it, um, like uh, Petty Mullen, uh have done such great things as the 1988 TV show Clash of the Champions, and she was in the 1987 movie Doom Asylum, but other people in the movie actually have had somewhat, you know, decent careers in television mostly. Um, the guy that plays Jeffrey Franken, um, James Lawrence, uh, appeared in Becker, The Practice, and NYPD Blue a couple times. He also was in the Jerky Boys movie. Um, Sarah Channing actually played Sein, or was in Seinfeld and played uh, one of Kramer's girlfriends once. But um, anyway, aside from the lame-ass backdrop there, the movie itself, like Killer Condom, doesn't have much of a plot, and it's kind of a comedy horror. It, uh, like I said, basically this guy goes around trying to make the perfect woman, and she escapes and goes on this rampage, and it is quite amusing and funny. And there's even this one scene where this like biker guy gets into uh, the uh, mad scientist's lab, knocks over this cooler full of uh, body parts, which happen to be animated, but it's weird things like legs attached to heads, kind of like the reanimator, only lamer. Um, 
so yeah so basically that's the whole movie this chick thing gets out and goes on a rampage and it's pretty bad um, so that's pretty much it I mean if anybody else can think of any worse movie or help me decide between the two or seen these crappy movies let me know because yeah they're uh I love humans. All the same patterns and things that aren't there.